Hello everybody, we are on day five of our free 10-day canine enrichment challenge and this is the witch hand game. So this game I start with my puppies and I continue playing this game throughout their adulthood. It's a great just keep them busy game. So there's lots of times you take your dogs places and they're just completely focused on the environment and they're not responding to cues and maybe it's because they're nervous or they're just distracted. This is the game I like to start with. So I start by placing a treat in one of my hands and I offer both my hands in front of the dog with closed fists. So the dog is using their nose to try and figure out which hand has the treat. So if they go to the hand that has no treat, I just open my hand, show them there's nothing in it and they should go to the other hand, which they usually do. And then you give them the treat. Now Fancy here, she's pretty smart and she keeps guessing the correct hand over and over and over again. So I start making it harder by moving my hands around and trying to fake her out. But she keeps guessing, which is great. So here we're gonna go to the genius version. The genius version of the game is now the dog has to wait while I get ready because I have to start faking them out because I keep guessing. So once they get to guessing correctly three times in a row, then I change the game and make it a little bit harder. So you can start by putting the treat in your hand behind the back, your back, so they can't tell which hand you've put it in. You can um, then move to the genius version where they have to wait. And you're going to be switching your hands all around. I start um, changing which hand over and over and again the treat's in and to where they literally cannot tell visually which hand the treat is in. They have to use their nose and figure it out. So you can start by having them wait just a very short time. Um, I'm also tossing the treat away um, because she keeps getting too close to me. I need her to be a little farther away. You can use a mat if you want to, and that will help to keep the dog in position if your dog's been trained to lay on a mat. But here I'm just putting her in a downstay and I'm really trying to fake her out here. Really faking her out and then I present the hands and see if she guesses it right. So this is a super fun game. We'll see you back on Friday for day six.